straight away you're on the wrong side. We're back at Maidenhead Aquatics, which is in Wellington, but it's called Maidenhead Aquatics Taunton. Bigger town, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's closer to it. You guys thought that was the end of the journey, didn't you, for the tank you can see behind us? It's not, it's just the start. Today I want to take us through the first things you need to do in a week. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Something like that. Today I need to talk. So today I wanted to show you guys the first sort of week. Like things can go really wrong or, or good or somewhere in the middle. Still, that doesn't sound right. I don't want to take this long to say something. No, you don't. Dude. You're normally good at this. So this is the first big tank I've ever done. So I thought it was important to show you guys like the things you need to do in the first week to prevent it going like horrible. Yeah. I said like about four times though. But you, at least it's they know genuine. what we're talking about. It's it's like. right. You can probably see from here, it's not crystal clear like usual. Why, Matthew? Why uh, isn't it perfect? So, uh, well, it's just a little I gave you one job. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, I had this morning up. No, it's just a little bacterial bloom. So we've been testing yeah. it daily, but what will have happened is there'll be a little spike of something. Even though it's all mature media, the bacteria will have either died off or... You it's know, balancing out, isn't a little it? Bit. Yeah, there's no, you know, there's no traces of ammonia or nitrite. It's just gone a little bit milky. To be fair, a lot of the fish have settled in and been spawning as well. Yes. So it might be the case that ah. there's actually just a bit too many nutrients in there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's just... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, fish nutrients. Uh, fish. <laughs> but yeah, it's doing really well. Everyone's obviously happy and yes. you, you chilled out, but it is just a little bit cloudy. So when I came in this morning, the first thing I noticed, they were everywhere and they still are everywhere. So the fish are loving the, the whole tank now. It was literally just what we were saying. They're just getting used to the environment, weren't they, Matt? Cause exactly, yeah. They just needed to chill out. You know, if you were taken from your front room to someone else's front room, you'd probably hide in the corner for a bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so for water change, we can just pull it out with the tube again, can't we? Yep. 50%? I reckon so, yeah, we'll give it a good change. And then fill it back up from system, because there's no treatment at the moment, is there? No treatment, so yeah, we'll be Might good well to fill it back up. up. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt if there was treatment, it'd just make it green, wouldn't it? Because yeah, the it treatment's green. doesn't look as pretty. <laughs> oh, it's so cool to look at. Like, uh, this middle section is like a highway. We've got fish going that way, we've got fish coming along the bottom. <laughs> that is so cool to watch. <laughs> Uh, and then there's that male just in the middle, like, this is my tank. <laughs> so, so far, the tank overall is looking pretty good, considering it's been a week with a lot of fish in it right from the start. Yeah, yeah, it's doing really, really well. It's really not hiccuped at all. I can see some diatoms up here on the top leaves. It's a little bit on that uh, bit of Anubius. But let's be honest, that is right underneath that powerful Kessel light there. Yeah. And I think, we can, I think we can deal with that, can't we? Yeah, it's really not the end of the world for that one leaf to be... Yeah, there's not much else, you know? <laughs> no, I, I literally, I was just looking around everywhere. Um, right up here as well, right under this other... Right, what, what light's this one, Matt? Uh, it's a photon. It's a photon. TMC photon. Yeah, to, normally for salt water, but it, it, the colour, it can use it for plant yeah, as well, can't you? Yeah, because you've got six or seven different colour channels you can mess around with. You just leave the bluer channels out. Yeah. Um, and the, you know, whites, yellows and pinks or reds you can put in. It looks really good. So yeah, there's no diatoms right underneath this on any of the plants. There's a tiny hint of it on that one. That's about it. But um, I was just looking down at some of the plants on the bottom here. Uh, the swat... The sa the sag that we put in, and I know <laughs> the swag. <laughs> and I noticed there's some new leaves uh, poking out of quite a few of them already. Probably ones that I put right above uh, nutrient tablets. Because <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was just chucking them in, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, they were by the handful. But yeah, they'll have, they'll have wrapped their roots around something and they're already starting to pop up new leaves. You can see how fresh that little one is there, that really lime green one. Yes. That one's just popping up. Well, look, the, um, the barred barbs, yeah. they're all over the tank can't they they're like, great we wanted to see that just in random areas yeah you almost don't see them because no. sort of, there's so many other big fish and then you've got those little barbs sort of flitting around the bottom you, yeah you really don't see them that much until you look closely god these fish are just behaving so cool now i love this and we've had spawning from the um from the jewel cichlids already haven't we yeah we've had a batch of eggs they didn't fertilize them because it was their first time so uh, yeah we had a batch of eggs i'm gonna check now but I see a uh, male yeah, down. Gone. Someone's down there guarding something. Yeah, so they were. That's where they were. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anyone underneath, unfortunately. But yeah, this you, is the area, yeah, though, so isn't it? Yeah, you go. Whoa! So, so that's two. Yeah, that's that's two boys. So and then, and what? Oh, there's three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit of territory dispute there. And that's all right. And a tank this size is going to be something like that, isn't it? With it's always going to happen, unfortunately, with cichlids. You just need to make sure you've got enough space for them to get away from each other, which, you know, eight foot is yes, going to exactly. be more than ample for three little pairs to get on fine. 
Brilliant. Um, they just want to choose. They both want to choose the same area, of course. Like that's obviously that's the, the best spot. area. Yeah, 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 exactly. But yeah, they did lay their eggs there, so uh, I'm hopefully another couple of times, and they'll get used to it, and we might have some babies at some point. And to be honest, a nice big water change might spur on another uh, yeah, spawning. Yeah, nice, nice fresh water change. You'll find it always generally does spur on the spawning. But the Congos have shown signs of spawning as well. Yeah, males and females have been in amongst the plants and in amongst sort of trying to yeah courtship rituals which is quite cool, but yeah, it's just, it's all going really, really well. Sweet, let's get this water up. Well, half, 50%? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll do a good water change on it and then we can refill it from the system if need be. Yeah, okay, sweet. So glowing at the moment from all the sunlight. It's like nine, 99 degrees centigrade outside, that's yeah, not so true. Yeah, it's like two weeks of summer. Two, two weeks, weeks, yeah, and oh, then that's it. Not, not bad, it's not two weeks of summer, 24 hours of summer. 20... Oh, no, next week. Yeah. Next yeah. week, we've got at least a week of summer. Oh, yeah. Right, Matt's sticking a bag of gravel up there to hold the pipe in. You're so clever. Like, <laughs> where'd you come up with these things? <laughs> Just working in a shop for 15 years. You get to learn how to do things easily. I knew he was going to do that, but last time I was like, oh, Matt, hang on, you haven't got a clamp. And he just bring, brings out this pile of gravel and just goes, <laughs> <laughs> if it works, you know. Oh, are we siphoning? Yeah, so lots of people as well asked me before. They were like, MD, why are you chucking all that water right by the entrance to the shop? And There's it's because the soak away. away is down there. Yeah, the soak away disappears down the side of the building. So yeah, it'll all drain down. It won't, it'll flood in a second. Uh, the, the, I've cleared the soak away a little bit. So oh, you have? Okay. I'm hoping. So we've got, what we've got, it'll drain quick, but it takes a while to fill back up. But um, that, that doesn't matter, does it? No. As long as it's clean, which it will be. Look at the fish. They're so confused. So how many water chains have we had on this already? Uh, just a couple of little ones. So nothing was bad. It was just we thought we'd drop a little bit of water out, put a little bit of fresh in. So yeah, I think it's had two, maybe 10, 15 percent. Nothing okay. major. It was just we had a lot of evaporation being so hot in the shop as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's only yeah maybe 20 percent in the time it's been set up. Oh, 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 oh. 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 somebody oh. forgot. <laughs> quick you're gonna burn it nah, well it's right. oxygenating the water nicely isn't it <laughs> there we go um. right partial water 50 percent water change is now done yeah it's cleared it up a fair bit it's, it's not perfect yet but i think another week um, we'll get in a balance and it, it will be, wouldn't it? This is not something you can rush. No. I mean, you've been adding bacteria as well, haven't you? Yeah, that's it. We've been there. adding a bit of bacteria in there and um, just keeping it ticking over and testing it daily. But yeah, it just needs that final sort of, yeah, little bit to get mature and then we'll be well away. I mean, it's not bad by any means, but no. yeah, come back in another week. We'll have more growth. Everything's going to be clear. Oh, please. We're not going to come back. It'll be a green mess. <laughs> Why, what are you doing? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> come back in the shop. No, I'm not. My wife was co keeps commenting on every time she sees Matt in the video, all she can see is his nipples now. <laughs> so you just put a load of it. Anyway, it's a new day. It's like two weeks now, isn't it? Was I here last Thursday? Yeah. I think I was, yeah. yeah it's it was. it's yeah. another two weeks. Two weeks since we put the fish in, but it's actually about three weeks since the first setup. It's cleared up now. Yay, have a look. <laughs> Martin, have you been maintaining this? Uh, yes, we've all been doing it a little bit. Who's we've been doing it most? I don't really know actually, I think it's, 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 it's a bit of, a bit of everyone. Team yeah. Team effort, okay wicked. That's good because I suppose you rotate staff don't you? So yeah, that's like, days off anyway. It's easier for everyone to know wait, what wait, they're doing. Wait, you don't rotate the staff, you rotate their days off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One day there's just a new person. We don't lazy Susan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, they walk through the door and I just turn them. <laughs> it's your turn today. <laughs> yeah, so last time we were here, we had a bit of an issue of misting. And look at this now. We're absolutely perfect. Except for the sun glaring in, we can't do anything about that today because it's so hot outside, isn't it, Matt? Ah, it's really warm and really sunny. Hence the, um, hence Vested MD. You can buy these, actually, if you click the link below. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> so, what has happened in the last two weeks? Well, straight away, I've just come in, with me and Matt have had a little chat, haven't we? Yep. Um, before I started filming, which I don't always do. Sometimes I like to come in really raw, don't I? Well, that's... Well, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like to come in. <laughs> How do I say this? Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I come in like right in your face for a real genuine reaction. Sometimes yeah. I come in and we have a little chat. But like we were just saying then, um, quite a few of these leaves now are all brand new. So, for instance, 
down here on this Anubius brand new leaves. Now Anubius is a slow grower, isn't it? So to have those new leaves this earlier on, I think that means that we've set this up right, Matt. Yeah, I think everything's going really, really well. There's a lot of new growth in everything, to be honest. The Vallis has hit the surface in a couple oh, yeah, of areas. Oh yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. So yeah. that Vallis was nowhere near the surface, and now it's hitting the surface. Um, it's gonna be nuts in just another couple of weeks, nice. isn't it? Yeah, it's all growing really well, and your sand just settled in lovely. That's all grown well. Have we got any um, sort of, I don't know, creepy bits yet because I'm not I'm not seeing no, any. I don't think I have actually. I've not seen any yet. It's a lot of new leaves but not a lot of um, runners as it were. So yeah I think. That won't take, that'll be next though. Yeah they'll soon. I mean they are at the lowest point on the tank so it makes sense for them to be to take a little bit more time to actually get those runners going but they definitely will because I found that in in lower lighting where those that depth is it's actually going to grow quite tall because the, the lower the light, the more sort of length you get on the sash. But you still get like creeping everywhere, don't you? You can see it on this leaf here, look. Yes. So this leaf, where it's underneath this piece of bogwood, it's really reaching up and really trying to get somewhere. So yeah, yeah it's doing well. Good, that's good. Fish-wise, look, all the fish now are schooling sort of everywhere they want. Like, they just go where they want. If you we're get still feeding over there, reactions as well now. Oh yeah, yeah, so they know. <laughs> yes, they know your feed. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's great. All the little jewels come up as well. They sort of all, they're all trying to protect their caves and the food goes in and all the jewels are like, no, nope, right, feeding time now. <laughs> uh, we've got eggs, haven't we? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Let me switch uh, lenses. Let me get my zoom one on. Matt, you've just spotted the rope fish, haven't you? Yeah. What was yeah. that look? <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to ask me. But yeah, you've got oh, his there he is. head up there and you can see his body all the way back through underneath the Anubius look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just chilling. That is that where have you seen him there before? Is that no, his regular little spot? That's a new spot for him. I've not seen him there, sat there previously. So he's he's the well, they are ambush predators. I mean, that to me is probably the best spot he can be in for an ambush. Look, yeah. just his only his head. Because you didn't even see his head at first, did you? No, no, I was focusing on his tail and I saw the tail and that was it, yeah. It just, but yeah, he's waiting watch. for frozen food, that's all he's waiting for. And I swear some of these fish are just bigger already. Oh, they're definitely growing. Me? No, no, they're <laughs> definitely growing. They have, they have put on a few pounds, definitely. Colours are, are way better. They're definitely better as well. It could just be that everything's settling in, I don't know, but it looks really good. I think you know, there's a lot more males showing colour in the Congos now. I think there's like, whereas there was like five or six showing good colour, now there's like probably 10 or 15 showing colour. So I think it's just right. everyone settling, really. And creating and finding their sort of uh, part hierarchy, yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? No, no. It's every now and again we keep coming in and yeah. there'll be a rock on top of the Anubius leaf, like a little pebble. And I just watched a jewel cichlid come from the back with a mouthful of pebbles and spit <laughs> them over the top of the uh, Anubius leaf. It's been one of my annoyances that every what? now and again there'll be a white pebble placed on Why would on they top be doing it. that though? There must be a reason if it digging keeps happening. A, digging a pit to try and find somewhere to breathe so it'll be something that's in their way, something that they're annoyed about. They don't oh. want that rock there. So they're not specifically putting it there, they're just no. removing it from where they want it? No, I don't think they're trying to annoy me. But maybe <laughs> they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they are trying to annoy me. It's round here, isn't it, Matt? I'm yeah, gonna... so it's underneath the wood. It's quite okay. tricky to see. Um, you can see the, uh, yeah, you can see the fish is just above them. Hang on, I need manual focus for this. Okay, so there's our dual cich cichlid right there. That's not the one though, is no, it? No, so if you go underneath the wood, there's yep. a pair. And I don't oh, know if I'm you... focusing right in there. There you go, so that's the, uh, that's one of them. And that's the eggs that she is just above now. Oh, there you go, look, she's coming out and oh, turning yeah. him off. <laughs> oh, quirky, this is hard, they're so quick. They are, they sort of change in a second. So that's the direction. female, yeah? Um, well, it's tricky to tell on them. They are quite hard to sex at that age. Um, but I would have thought, I would have thought that's the girl sat above oh, them. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Look, look at my camera, Matt. Right at the back there. Yep, there Is you go. Is that the pair? Is that... Yeah, that's the pair. So that they... could be the female then, right on there now. Yeah, quite possibly. Just going over those eggs. They're quite white, like you're saying, which suggests that they're sort of not going to make it. Yeah, if they're probably... If an egg probably... goes white, yeah, that means infertile? Yeah, normally. So they're probably not fertilised, but they've, like, you know, they've been in here, what, two, two and a bit weeks or whatever it is, and they've had two attempts. So they're just still young. They're still getting used to it all. So I expect in the next sort of few months we'll probably have some babies swimming around in here. Yeah, that'd be wicked. I mean, like you say, it's going to take practice for them. And it's not the easiest of uh, circumstances, is it, with this many fish in this tank? No. But they've got a good area though, they can protect that, can't they? They can, yeah. The only ones that seem interested are the little barbs. The little barbs oh, yeah. sort of come hunting around. All the other Congos and stuff don't seem to bother, but the barbs sort of skulk around the bottom of the plants and uh, 
the jewels have to tell them off every now and again when they get too close. Oh, it'd be awesome if we can get some babies though that survive. Yeah, it'd be really good to see that. What do the babies on the jewel cichlids look like? Are they coloured up straight away? Do they take time to develop that? No, they'll develop it over a long period of time. So you'll find they'll be the normal clear sort of babies, probably like you've seen in the electric blue acaras really. Oh, okay, they'll yeah. only start gaining their colours when they're a little bit older. Of course, saying that actually, one of my tanks at the moment, Yeah. you know my Amazon tank that's yeah. got the electric blues in? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I walked in there yesterday and one of the bottom rocks, right out in the open, just completely covered in uh, yeah. eggs. Oh wow. Probably not going to survive, there's a lot of fish. Yeah, a lot uh, of fish in there. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're going to be hard pushed to protect out in the open, but you never know. You never but know, it does happen. It's like, as well, like you've always said to me, um, if, the ba if you're getting eggs, you can be rest assured that everything else in the tank is good, isn't it? Like in terms of like hierarchy yeah. um, in terms of the water quality and yeah. all those things because fish don't breed, breed do they? and everything like yeah. that no generally you know things like your live bearers they'll breed just about anywhere but the good majority of your cichlids are a little bit trickier to breed so if you've got them breeding they are generally happy okay so I'm doing that that, that tank is then what I like to call autopilot mode we're all good <laughs> you're doing something right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's coming right out. Rope, rope fish now. is coming right out, but um, right, he's gone back. He's bored now. It's like a little dragon popping out. So, Matt, what does the future hold for this tank? Um, I, well, so I suppose we... It's just going to be growing, really, I suppose. A lot of it's going to be the growth and letting everything settle in. But we are thinking we have got a severe lack of African catfish on the bottom. So Martin is on Ooh. the case of trying to find some, um, yeah, maybe some microcynodontis or something like that. That's the black like and that. white ones, yeah? Uh, there's a few different species. Oh, so, okay. yeah, we've got, um, we've got a little group of um, little microcynos over there now, which will get to about six centimetres. Yeah. But we are going to get some of the other ones. So we might obviously look at putting a few other fish in there, things like cynodontis. There are a few other species that we would really like to get hold of, but they're quite rare and quite hard to get hold of. Okay. Well, yeah, but that'd be fun. Still be fun. Yeah, there'd be and some cool stuff. There's some, um, yeah, a few species that are, yeah, really hard to get hold of. Like we've got some fantastic reds, um, Congo tetras. Well, they're not Congos, but fantastic red tetras from Africa that are really nice. So, yeah. well, this, this tank definitely needs more fish, doesn't it? Always more fish. <laughs> Oh, that's the point. Filtration, then. Yes. How are we coping with that? Or have you had to do anything, or are you just leaving it at the moment? We haven't touched it yet, to be fair. We've been watching the flow rate. When we've been water changing, the outlets are sort of pointing towards the surface. But the flow really hasn't reduced. With the amount of biomedia and sponges that are in there, we haven't touched it. The only thing we have thought about is putting something fine in there, something like a fine filter oh, yeah, floss yeah, in there. Just to polish it. That might yeah. be a good idea. Or, yeah, or maybe even another little internal one. This is it. We've just a bulk load of um, the, the filter floss in there. And then you can just routinely change that rather than having to go So that's right down. the thought, but we haven't got there yet because, you know, the cloudiness isn't actually poor water quality. It is just, the bacteria. you know, a little bit of cloudiness. So, yeah, it's nothing really to worry about on that. It's, it's not cloudy now, I'll have to say, it's way, way less, so... Oh, good yeah, job crikey, that. yeah, yeah. And a lot of the time, I do wonder if it's the flow, but... Oh, is she here? Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, she here today. Right, so we're going to give this now a bigger time until the... Bigger time? Till, I don't know what that time. means. A longer period until I do the next filming on it, so next time it should be looking awesome. Because everyone... Not that it doesn't Even look, more awesome. Even more awesome than it does now. It does look awesome, doesn't it? Just saying, this area here is right in the sunlight underneath there. And that area is just going to boom. Anyway, we'll see you next time. <laughs>